Hey YouTube, Untamed here. I want to just take a few minutes and show you the newly, newly tinted windows on the Land Cruiser Heritage Edition here. But before we do that, let's do a peanut feature. Hi, peanut. Hi. Say hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Crushed it. All right. So I just uh, had my windows tinted on the Land Cruiser here. Uh, I did the same thing I did on the Tundra as well as the Forerunner here right what that is is 20 percent 20 percent on the sides here and five percent on the rear and only the rear window here is uh the five percent excuse me the land cruiser definitely is dirty but i definitely wanted to show you this uh just because it's uh new and fresh so 20% of the side, what does that mean? So whenever you hear the percentages, that is referring to the amount of sunlight that the tint allows to actually come through. Uh, typically, oh, we got a buggy feature. Sorry guys. Hi, boogers. Oh, hi, buggy. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing, bug? Me too. Me too. <laughs> All right. Well, so that's the amount of uh, sunlight, the percentage of sunlight that the tent technically allows through. So 20%, meaning 20% of the sunlight is uh, is coming through while you're in the in the cabin there. Uh, typically speaking, you're used to seeing and hearing 35%, 30 or 35% as being the sometimes 50%, uh, the typical legal limit. So that's pretty common, common to see at large. Um, here in Wyoming, the, the laws are pretty laxed, fortunately. I actually don't know what they are in Washington where we're moving. But let me hop in real quick and I will show you, show you what it looks like from the interior, from the cabin here. So, obviously, this is during the day where it's nice and bright outside. And really when you start noticing it is at nighttime. You know, for, for the folks out there who have tinted windows, you know what I'm talking about. So I think at large, I mean, I'm really used to it at this point, especially since I've already had multiple vehicles uh, have it. Um, so I personally like it. I think it's a great touch and it just, you know, makes the vehicle look good too. Uh, most importantly, why I've come to be a huge advocate of the window tint is Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Whenever you have kiddos and you guys know, uh, when you go on a long ro road trip, it is pretty helpful, you know? And if you, if you want them to actually take a nap while you're driving or on a long road trip, uh, it's good to have not have the sun blaring down in their face the entire time. It helps them actually nap. So I personally like it for that reason. But I'll hop out one more time and kind of give you a, well, it's starting to rain. I'll give you a, one more shot of it. We'll wrap up. So let me know what you guys think. I guess as a as a parting shot to you, I did the same thing that I did to the Forerunner and Tundra, and by that I mean I did 20% on all the sides. So all the side glass here is 20%. And if you guys are familiar, most new vehicles come with a factory um, factory tint to the rear windows, rear glass. So they're to come a little bit darkened back here. So that is why you really can't see through these windows here. But then when I go up here, you can, you can see through that one totally because these front two windows, the driver and passenger side are, are totally non-tinted from the factory. Uh, so of course you can get some sort of deviation, some sort of difference between the two here. But I think it kind of pulls it together very well. And I think it definitely adds to the look. Uh, what do you guys think? At any rate, I appreciate you watching. Until next time.